Well, Gene, it only took about an hour to bring this fire under control, but the mop-up effort lasted until noon as a storage garage was destroyed and hundreds of salvaged cars burned. When firefighters arrived on the scene, flames were pouring through the roof of a storage garage at Murray's Junkyard on Hall Road in Londonderry. The temperature at midnight was four below zero. Firefighters found frozen hydrants and started pumping water from the little Cohas brook. The building held, uh, you know, waste oil containers, uh, antifreeze, and uh, different types of other fluids that are in the vehicles, gasoline. So I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't uh, any concern with the runoff going into the uh, area of wetlands. Behind the garage were hundreds and hundreds of crushed cars, stacked eight to ten high, seven rows deep. When they caught fire, tires, upholstery, and other plastics began to burn, sending a strong smell through the neighborhood. I let the dog out, and he could smell. I could tell it was burning rubber, and then I knew it was definitely from the junkyard up the street. Tanya LeMay woke at 3 a.m. thinking something was burning inside her house. I thought it was my kids' sneakers, boots, because I put them in front of the heater, you know, to warm them up after the snow. And it wasn't that, and I just, I didn't sleep for the rest of the night thinking my house was going to catch on fire because all I could smell was like rubber burning. Fire officials say they were monitoring air quality as soon as they got there, and despite the smell, there is no danger to the residents or to the firefighters. The state fire marshal is conducting an investigation looking for a cause. We're going to meet with the, with the homeowner here, uh, the business owner, and uh, see if we can track down as much information as we can about the fire and about the building before the fire. Fire officials say again that they want to stress, despite the smell, that there was never any danger to anyone in this area, and that there does also not appear to be any environmental impact. There were also no injuries. Reporting live in Londonderry, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.